You're watching 1700 with Bronte and Josh. Welcome back. And we are joined in studio uh, by Melbourne artist Quasi. How you going, man? Good, man. How are you? We yeah, feel well. very lucky to have you on our show. Oh, uh, yeah. I feel blessed for our last here. show. That's last extra show. Exciting. Ever, ever, ever. <laughs> so you grew up in, in country Victoria. Yeah. How do you think that affected your, uh, your sound? Um, I think out there it's like, it's not as busy as the city. Yeah. So you like, you got to be creative. Uh, Gippsland, so oh, yeah. do you know like Moorwell, Moita, yeah. in that area. Cool. So yeah, you like, it can get boring there, so you got to be a creative kid to find stuff to do, mm. and yeah, it just makes you more adventurous, I reckon. Totally. So, yeah. And you started rapping with your sister in initially. Yep. Um, how old were you when you started out? Uh, super young. We were like, yeah, Cute. 11, 10, something like that. Oh, so, yeah, and super and young. did that help you that you sort of started out with your sister like you obviously were bouncing off of each other and yeah i mean we're just interested in the style like i never thought about necessarily making my own music but mm. we're just so interested in hip-hop and that whole culture in america we were just like what's going on there and so it was just cool. it was just cool so yeah it was just i guess it did help in the long run so yeah and uh how old were you when you decided that you were going to pursue music as a, as a career um not until i was 19 20 so it took a while like i'd muck around and make music for ages but i never thought about it like seriously and doing heaps of gigs and stuff till yeah. later on wow so yeah now you're um you're, you're pretty unique in that you've also studied uh, audio engineering how do you think that's sort of helped with your uh your sound so before i did the course i always wanted to know how to think of a sound and be able to create it yeah because um, I always had melodies in my mind and stuff, I just didn't know how to mm. quite create them yet. So going to uni helped me, just like a painter, you know, being able to paint a good picture. Sure. I just, yeah, so it just helped me, I guess, yeah, refine my art and yeah. just be able to get what's in here on the page or in your ears, whatever you want to call it. And so, you yeah. dropped a video last month, mm -hmm. Through To You, um, is what it's called. Can you tell us about that? The, the video? The creative or? process behind that? The video? Yeah. yeah. Or, um, so it started out, I just sent my mate a bunch of demos and he really liked that song and he had some ideas for it. So does he do videos? Yeah, so yeah. He, he films videos and whatnot. And um, yeah, just we just went out with the camera, me and him one night and just messed around and just, yeah, just went for a drive and just saw what sceneries we could pick up That's and just, cool. yeah. And just, it was kind of like a bit of a muck around idea. Mm. And then I got the song mixed and it started sounding really good. So we decided to get like the drone footage with the helicopter and everything like that. So, and it yeah, turned into what it is. <laughs> and so you've worked with artists such as, and not limited to, I have to say, 360 and mm -hmm. Hospin. What was wow. that like? Uh, it was cool. Yeah. yeah, with 360, it was cool seeing it on that level. Like, yeah. I guess seeing a professional at work is just like, yeah, it's Mind crazy. Yeah, yeah, playing to gigs like 4,000 people and wow. just, it's nuts. It's cool. <laughs> yeah, that's the plan. Has that like helped you in sort of your on stage presence? Oh, 100%. Yeah, definitely. Just like balancing energy, mm. it's just so different when you're in front of so many people. You've got to learn to like, yeah, control that energy and whatnot. Yeah, 100%. So we're going to go to a, uh, a clip in, in just a moment. And when we get back, we're still going to be chatting with Quasi. But after that, you're going to be performing for us. What are you going to be Yay. performing for us? Uh, it's a song called Just Like That. So it's nice. off the release, awesome. yeah. Well, don't go anywhere um, because we've still got so much more to talk about. Uh, but you are watching 1700 with Bronte and Josh. We'll be right back. You're watching 1700 with Bronte and Josh, and we are joined in studio uh, by Quasi, as we were just before the break. Um, so we're still Lucky still up. here. You, you're not missing anything. It's good. <laughs> it's a good time. Um, so <laughs> we're just chatting about your music, uh, and you recently released an EP. You dropped it last month yep. from memory. It's called The Go Golden Voyager. Yep. Can you tell us a little bit about that? The title? Uh, yeah, tell us about the title. Just the start. whole yeah, thing. Yeah. So um, the title is just like kind of an adventure, like a space trip yeah. kind of thing. So um, yeah, the title actually came from a NASA mission that they did where they sent yeah. some records out into space wow. to hope yeah, in the hope that aliens would find it and listen to it. Yeah. So that's <laughs> kind of where I got the idea is just like, you know, so many people make music and it's always just like, who's going to listen to it? Are people yeah. going to like what I'm doing, whatnot? Yeah. So I was like, cool, that's a cool symbol for it. So I'll call it the Golden Voyager. I'm making this Love music, that. sending it out, and then hopefully someone will listen to it. And can you tell us a little bit about the tracks on the EP? Yeah, for sure. So it's got seven tracks on it, a little intro and outro. I always like to be a little bit conceptual, kind of not not a really solid kind of theme, but just something to make things tie in and yeah. tie out. Just I think the, the listeners enjoy it a bit more. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And the whole style is, it's kind of floaty, soulful, jazz kind of vibes. I sampled a lot of soul music, a lot of reggae music, nice. and just, yeah, heavy drums, heavy bass lines, and just really melodic raps. That's epic. 
Um, so you're performing at Pelly Bar in Frankston this Saturday. Mm -hmm. um, what can people expect from your show? Is there any unexpected mm. surprises? Unexpected? If I tell <laughs> them, it will be expected though. Yeah. <laughs> so, <That's true. laughs> um, We've ruined it. Yeah, well, I don't know. Should I tell them? Or? <laughs> no, just good vibes. Just, I yeah. like, I know, anthem kind of songs and just trying to get people into the mood, get people into it, they break a sweat. Just yeah, see what happens. It's always, it's always cool to just go out there, It'll judge the, the room. Chain, will it? Yeah, it should be off, off tap. <laughs> now, um, festival season's coming up. Are yeah. you involved in any, any sort of shows coming Anything up? In the works. I've got a small festival that I'm doing. Yeah. Uh, it's called Truffle Fest. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So um, I think that's in Northcote. So yeah, I'll be, I'll be playing at that. And I'll have my band for that. So that's a bit of a, that's cool. well, it's expect, an unexpected, <laughs> now expected surprise. Okay. So yeah, watch out. <laughs> but, um, so yeah, we'll be playing that and I'll have my band, uh, drummer, bass player, DJ, and probably a few special guests as well, so yeah. And do you have any uh, festivals that you sort of got your eye on that you'd like to like to oh, work out? Yeah, What's hell next yeah. next for Quasi? For, I don't know, there's some good, fe like yeah. Australia has mad festivals, yeah, you know? Yeah, they do. Yeah. So, Splendor. I know Fall, yeah, Splendor, you Falls. Heard it yeah, <laughs> any festival people, I'm ready. <laughs> now, I know it's been a huge 2015 with the video and, and with the EP. But what can we expect next? Like, because that's what, that's what Ooh, everyone wants to know. Next. Like, at the end of the day, what's coming up next? So I've pretty much planned my whole An sound album. for my next release. Wow. So I'm sitting on like, so with, with the whole hip hop thing, you yeah. pretty much, you collect beats or you make beats. Yeah. And then you write your songs to the beats, beats a lot of the time. So you've got some so I've got stored heaps. Yeah. Oh, heaps. Back up. So my DJ Hefner, who's here now, yeah. but he's, you know, he didn't want to <laughs> get behind the camera because he makes me look ugly. Because <laughs> he's too pretty and stuff, so. <laughs> but yeah, we've been working on stuff the whole time when yeah. we've been doing rehearsals and stuff. So I've got a whole new release kind of sitting there, just needs lyrics ready and, to go. yeah, so I got wow. heaps, I got heaps ready. That's awesome. Well, if you do want to catch Quasi, he will be performing at Pelly Bar in Frankston this Saturday. And when or we on get- the show now. Exactly right, when we get back, he's going to be performing. <laughs> so don't go anywhere, you are watching 1700 with Bronte and Josh. <laughs>